Hi, I'm Nicole from Terran. Thank you for joining us today. Today I'll be showing you how to use our What's In Store web application. It's available to anyone with an internet connection. There's no need to download an app and it is 100% free to use. Our hope is that by working together by sharing updated accurate information, we could limit exposure to COVID-19 for everyone. Hi everyone, welcome to our how-to video for the What's In Store web application. The easiest way to find the web application is to visit our website, www.terran.ca. Once at our homepage, click on the link to our news page. Scroll down to the What's In Store blog. Here you will find a link to the What's In Store application, and it'll take you right there. Let's review the tools available starting on the far left. This compass button is used to determine your approximate location quickly and easily. The home button will return you to the home view. There's also a find address or place in the top left hand corner. Here you can type in a city. Or you can also type in the name of your store. The question mark button is your help menu, and it features information about adding or editing stores, as well as tips on panning and zooming. I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse so that I can zoom into my neighborhood. The shopping cart is used when you want to add or edit a store. For instance, I can click on the shopping cart and then I can click on a store to edit existing information. Or I can just click on the shopping cart and then I can click on the pin and I can click on my store to add a store to the map. Now I can enter in all the relevant information regarding the store. There are several options to choose from. Items like shopping options, pickup and delivery. If you scroll through, you will see things like regular store hours, reduced store hours, sensory friendly. We're asking everyone to only update information that they know. If you don't know, please leave it blank. There are several items to choose from. There are also fields where you can enter in your own information if you're finding that the drop down boxes aren't providing you with the answers that you need. And that's it. If you find that you make a mistake along the way, or maybe you dropped your pin in the wrong spot, you can hit delete 
and the pin will disappear. If you are happy with your information, you can hit close, and now that information is there for the next person to view. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at digital at